My name is Tommy Joseph. I'm here in Sitka, Alaska at Rain Dance Gallery and Studios, my workspace. Um, working on a Alderwood bowl, a dish for a certain food in the form of a canoe with a frog climbing into it. Who's it for? It's for um, some private collectors that were here in Sitka visiting a few weeks ago. They commissioned a piece and um, finished it up and delivered it to their, their well, they're going to meet me down in Powak, Powak, Alaska. Can you tell us a little bit more about the bowl? It's actually a bowl that I started a couple years ago. Like I said, it's in the form of a canoe. I have a frog climbing in. It's alder wood, jade eyes, making some abalone smile, our mouth in the lay there, and got a raven being painted on the hull of the canoe. So, how do you like owning your own gallery? Having my own gallery and studio and workplace to, to come and do my work every day, it's, it's really, it's been good. It's been learning a lot. Visitors from around the world coming to Sitka to visit and come up have found their way to our, our gallery and things are going good. What kind of work do you carry in the gallery? The work I have in the gallery, we have uh, about 20 different local artists work. Um, painting, ceramics, um, sculpture, um, some weaving, a variety of stuff. But yeah, it's, it's interesting, fun to share and show other people's work. What other kinds of things do you do in the gallery, especially during the off season? During the off season in, in the gallery space, we, we shift things around a bit and I host a carving group on Thursday night, a group of retired guys and gals mostly that come by and drink coffee, share stories, and do their own creations. And you know, I, I teach for the local university. I have workshops on carving, different aspects of carving. Any other other things during the off season? Do you do, you do any exhibits or shows or? Yes, we we part of the local gallery walk. Um, um, and we've had a few shows in the past uh, hosting our local university students work uh, in ceramics and, and highlight other artists during our, during our gallery walks. Can you give us just a little close-up of the frog's face? This is my frog bowl. So when do you expect to have this one complete? I should be done with this by uh, close tonight or maybe tomorrow it'll be done and I'll do all the details that I in a couple of days get to get on a plane and fly it down to Cloak. What's in Cloak? Cloak is a Flingit village. Um, Flingit village with we have uh, five totem poles that are going up. Local carver John Roan is the master carver there. I'm going down to support him and, and his uh, event. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you.